there guys, my name is Coach Shadongsterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a next five years video where today we'll be looking at Port Aventura World in Salu, Spain. Now this video was suggested by Theme Park Kieran, so big shout out to you. If you've got any video suggestions then comment down down below. Uh, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and our social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in using our hashtag question before or after your question and that will be for our 2000 subscriber Q&A and also make sure you stay tuned on our separate internet chat series Chell Chats where we'll be chatting to the famous faces around the world on their professions. And for now guys, let's get into a video. So before we take a look at the next five year predictions in my opinion for Port Aventura, we have to take a look back at the last decade of Port Aventura. So let's start that right now. So starting off in 2010, when the park celebrated its 15th anniversary with new parades and decor. In 2011, the um, theme park opened Sesamo Ventura, which was the first Sesame Street area in Europe. Uh, it included many new attractions, including Coco Piotto, uh, which is a monorail attraction, so along with Coco Pilotto. Tammy Tammy was rethemed with the area, which is a children's coaster. You had the Magic Fish, which is a water jack carousel. You had El Salto de Blas, which is a children's drop tower. And Elmo's Farm, you could even go to Elmo's Farm. All this and many, many more. Now, as well as this, in 2012, the park stepped up their game with the installation at the time of Europe's tallest roller coaster, the Bologna Mabiard Hyper Shambhala Expedition Al Himalaya. And I love that coaster, the look of that coaster. It's a bucket list coaster for me for sure. Can't wait to try it out in the future. In 2013, the park stepped up once again, and they stepped up with Kariba, with their Costa Kariba water park and the refurbishment, and that involved Europe's highest freefall water slide. And then in 2014, in the China-themed area uh, near Shambhala, they expanded with Europe's longest splash battle, which is Angor. Uh, and then in 2015, as the park celebrated its 20th birthday, they brought in Ice Age the 4D ride. Uh, and as well as this, they rebranded the park as Port Aventura World. So it was first Port Aventura that became Port Aventura World. In 2016, there was no real investment. However, in 2017, the park opened Ferrari Land. Now, Ferrari Land is a second gate theme park with Red Force, which was an intimate accelerator coaster, among many more attractions, including a driving school and also uh, a drop tower attraction as well. In 2018, they expanded with the Ferrari Land with Junior Red Force. In 2019, the park are going to open, well, a park open, Sesame Street uh, Street Mission, and also they are also going to invest in Hotel Colorado, um, which is a brand new hotel to the resort. And in 2020, the park celebrates 25 years. Uh, of course, those celebrations are now pretty much cancelled because of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, but they were planning to do some summer events, bringing us to the Grouch to Sesame Ventura, and also carrying with the Halloween and Christmas. Halloween and Christmas looks likely to go ahead. Uh, so there we go. So that is the last decade of Port Aventura. Um, and you know what? I think Port Aventura has had a pretty neat decade the last 10 years. I think they've had some pretty neat investments. Dart Ride... Junior coaster, thrill coasters, um, new parades and shows to keep up the entertainment level at the park. Um, and I think the Port Aventura is a good, well rounded theme park. So, you know, they haven't really had a new thrill coaster since 2017, so it's a good three years. So I think give it a couple more years and we could be, you know, ending that cycle. Uh, but now let's have a look into my next five year predictions for Port Aventura World and Ferrari Land. Starting off with 2021, and 2021 is a very, very easy one. That is a show year. Uh, now, show year, of course, you know, could be um, certain events, it could be festivals, it could be parades, it could literally be anything like that. Uh, and I think that's the route they're going to go down. They're going to extend the 25th anniversary celebrations into 2021 to give a year of full celebration a chance. Uh, so moving in then to 2022 and I think the focus on new attractions here will be in Ferrari land now you, you look at the site of Junior Red Force as well as some surrounding things on the other side of Red Force's descent uh, I think they could put in a couple of uh, family rides here 
Now, two attractions that I think would do very, very nicely for the park is a Zamperla Disco Coaster and uh, like a Starflyer Sky Screamer attraction. Look at Hurricane Condor, that's a very, very tall attraction. But they could do Spain's biggest Sky Flyer and also maybe the world's tallest Disco Coaster or just Disco Attraction if they're not going to call it a coaster. Uh, and I think theme both of them up to Ferrari Land and have like a two attraction uh, expansion. Uh, or they could just have one. They could literally use that whole Junior Red Force site, work the queue uh, round in that expanded site on the other side of the drop and have the actual ride itself uh, in between the two, uh, the upward and the descent of Red Force. You could literally have the ride circling round um, at, at some specific speed inside Red Force. Now, of course, you have to worry about distancing in this, so uh, obviously it would be quite... Uh, a difficult ride to do. You could just do the Zampella Disco instead um, and literally you could either stretch it over the descent of Red Force so you could go under or you could just do it on one side and have the queue uh, on the other side of the site. Uh, so there's a few different variations. So you could do one or two attractions for a Ferrari Land expansion type thing but I think Junior Red Force site is pretty much the only site of development I could see for Ferrari Land. Moving in then to 2023, and again, I think this is going to be a year of shows, but I think this is because we're going to see work for 2024, and I'm going to speak about 2024 in a little bit. But 2023, I'm thinking, again, new shows, festivals, parades, celebrations, uh, things like that. So I think that we could, maybe they could refurbish the White Knight event and you know, relaunch that as a uh, an extended White Knights event just to up the ante in entertainment. Maybe invest in the most entertainment in park history. Maybe break the record for 2023. Moving in then to 2024. And 2024, I think, will be the site of their next coaster. Now, you see on your screen the Silver River Flume. Now, this is an attraction in Far West. Now, they do already have Tatuki Splash, so I think that Silver River Flume is, Flume is the most likely co uh, attraction to be replaced by a coaster. Um, obviously, people are going to cry out in the comments and say, B&M in Mexico, B&M Flyer in Polynesia. I think they'll come, but I think they'll be long-term future rather than the next five years. I think the next coaster will be on this site. Now, there's a few types we could see. We could see a Mac Big Dipper. I think that would be a nice attraction. They could do a Like for Like and do a nice water coaster. They could go with the Power Splash uh, from Mac Rides and do like a mine theme. And uh, one thing I did come up with was a, like a Panning for Gold theme. So the whole ride is themed around Panning for Gold in this abandoned mine and the fact that the, uh, the broken waters of the mine are being r flushed out again. Uh, and it's become this new flood of thrills or something like that. Just give it like a nice panning for gold theme. So I think a Mac Power Splash would be nice, a Mac Big Dipper would be great. I could also see a B&M Dive. Now you probably think I'm stretching a little bit, but I think it could be very true. I think looking at Valkyria at Leesburg, for example, you look at how, you know, compared to other dive coasters in the States and around the world, it's not the biggest site in the world. So for a dive coaster so i think that they've made use of a great site and i think they could do the same here with silver river flume i think interact it with uh the lands you know around the coast around the flume ride to you know be re re revigorated into the new coaster and i think that they could do a really nice dive coaster layout it might be shorter than we maybe would have hoped as coaster enthusiasts it may not have as many inversions but it would be a decent general public coaster for Europe and for the rest of the world as well and attract those worldwide visitors again. So I think that a dive coaster would be perfect for Port of Ventura uh, Park in the far west section. Moving in then to 2025 finally and this is a very easy one again. This is of course the um, anniversary of the park. Again we're looking at 30 years of the park so I think that 2025 will be the year they will go straight in for the um, you know, entertainment again, try and do the most entertainment in park history again. Uh, and I think that they could do something really nice with that. So I think that it's very, very clear they could go with some kind of, um, you know, entertainment year again. But again, extend the White Nights, make up the biggest Halloween festival in park history, the biggest Christmas festival in park history. Maybe do extended opening times on if the so if they open the new coaster in 2024, do extended opening times for all the rides and maybe do 
uh, some extra rides or some before opening hours rides on the new coaster to celebrate its one year anniversary. Um, they could do some really intense and cool stuff and some really cool events and parades with this. So there we go. So that is my next five year predictions for Ponaventura World in Salou, Spain. Uh, like I said on that, um, I think we could see a new coaster. I think we could see a new Ferrari Land attraction. And I think we could see some celebration years as well. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this video. Again, big shout out to Theme Park Kieran for shouting out this video. If you've got any video suggestions, comment them down below. Uh, but for now guys, thank you very, very much for watching this Theme Park uh, next five years video. Uh, make sure you check out the description down below where you'll find my Instagram, my Twitter and my Snapchat. Uh, you can also watch the other videos if you just subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We've got plenty more videos set to come over the next week or so. We've got plenty more content to come over the next few months uh, while you're enjoying them from the comfort of your own homes. And for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Shell, Kill on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.